Hey there, welcome back. I, a long time ago, I did a flannel shirt guide. Honestly, that video just needs a refresh. That's what we're doing here. So I have 10 flannels to show you, um, which I'm gonna go through, you know, from, from start to finish. A range of different price points, a range of different fabrics and materials and stuff like that. Hopefully you, you see something here that you like that fits your needs. But first, I wanna thank new patrons, Sean McCarthy, Robert Carey, and Jonathan Carter. Thank you so much. Now here's the deal with flannel, okay? Flannel is sort of a loosely defined fabric. Mostly it's typically brushed, but not always. Sometimes it has a pattern to it and it has a loose weave. So that makes it really warm. So that's why, you know, you see a lot of these kind of patterns. I know people who just refer to this kind of a pattern as a flannel shirt. Whereas flannel can actually be wool, it could be cotton, some combination of the two. We have both here. We have some that are made out of hemp. Um, so it really ranges quite a bit. Flannel shirt could be loosely defined as a loose weave fabric um, sewn up in a shirt. I mean, <laughs> that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna show you a whole bunch here. This first one here I'm gonna show you, this is from Indigo Ferra. Indigo Ferra is a really cool company. They have some incredible patterns like this one right here. This has a beautiful slubby texture. You can see it, it looks like it's almost kind of pre-worn in. It has these little neps and stuff like that. I love that kind of thing. Now, another thing that you'll see on the higher end flannels, and even some of the mid-tier flannels, you'll see they're actually yarn dyed. So some of the cheaper ones, they literally will print the pattern onto the shirt. Well, a lot of these more high-end ones, the actual yarns are dyed, so you can get much more complex and uh, kind of distinct patterns. So this is the Dawson flannel. It comes in at $259. Japanese fabric, corduroy lined collar, these really cool looking snaps here. Um, the thing is with them, their sizing is really strange. So this is a small. Um, if you get a large, you better be a big dude. So I'm actually probably a medium. The small is a little bit snug for my taste. Um, regardless, I got it. It's, it's, it's really, really nice. Um, beautiful, beautiful shirt. Okay, this is the American Giant Vintage Flannel. This comes in $138. It's a really nice shirt, and they only put these out for a limited time each year, and then they basically sell out until the next year. I love this coloration, this sort of brick red. This is just a nice shirt. Yarn dyed as well, so you can see that there's a lot of texture and, and very nice. I, I like this kind of, it's a little bit different. You know, almost looks like it has stripes to it. Now, the one thing with these is that it seems like the sleeves really are pretty long on them. I have kind of short, stubby arms anyway, but these are definitely pretty long. So what I end up doing um, a lot of times is rolling them up. What I wish they had done is given us a second button here so you could actually tighten the cuff, and then the sleeve length really doesn't matter because it gets stuck at your palm. That's the only complaint I have. Besides that, it's a really, really nice shirt. So when I think of flannel shirts, I think workwear. That's a lot of times what I see guys wearing on the job. This is the Farrier's shirt. I'm sure if you've watched this channel for any amount of time, you've heard me talk about the Farrier's shirt. I love this. This is my favorite work shirt. Um, not only because it has these expandable pockets, it has metal buttons. Uh, it, it's just so, it's so decently put together. Uh, I have three or four of these now, and I wear them all the time. This is my favorite color, though, and I think it was a limited time deal. You know, as you can tell, I really like kind of like a lot of things in the brown category. This just, I don't know, I like this, this color. Um, now, this is actually a bit of a blend. So this is 55% hemp and 45% recycled polyester. I don't think that there's a better work shirt out there right now. This is just fantastic. It is a bit on the expensive side, especially for work wear, but it's one of my favorites. And every time I put it on, um, I don't know, I, I just smile, I love it. So this is a bit of a new company to me called United by Blue. This is their responsible flannel, and it is the softest flannel that I have in my collection. I mean, this feels like pajamas when you put it on. Now, this is a very nice one. I also have a different color, which is uh, more of a, a reddish brown, but I thought this was just a little bit different with the green. I like it a lot. It's 60% uh, cotton. I think the rest is a recycled polyester, if I'm not mistaken. This is definitely the kind of entry level to, to flannel shirts. You know, it's not too burly. It's not too thick. It definitely feels, like I said, more like pajamas, although it's, uh, it still looks dressed up. It's very, very nice. The one thing I wish they had done on this, though, is that the buttons that they chose for it are very, very small. I wish they gave us just a little bit of a chunkier button, but still, these are also Corzo nut buttons at 78 bucks. That's a pretty cool thing to have. So these are beautiful, and I think if you're somebody who doesn't typically wear flannel shirts and you kind of want to try it, this is a good entry point. All right, I'm really psyched about this one. This is from Himmel Brothers. 
And Himmel Brothers is one of my favorite companies. They really are, okay? They make the some of the best leather jackets out there. This is the Himmel Brothers camp shirt. Now, they only they come out with st stuff like this occasionally. When they're gone, they're gone kind of thing. But they, they make some stuff that's very, very unique. This, this shirt is so full of unique stuff that you got to start at the top and kind of work your way to the bottom because there's so much to talk about. Most of what we've seen to this point has been you know, kind of run of the mill, you know, standard button placket, you know, a couple of shirt pockets, you know, but this one is so different that I kind of want to break it down for you. So we start at the top here. Um, I love the way they did this button down collar. Now, Dave Himmel had, or maybe has still, the most extensive collection of vintage leather jackets available. And he was big into the vintage clothing game. So he knows his stuff. And that's why you see a lot of things here that look like they're taken from the 30s or 40s that very unique vintage style. How many times have you seen something like this where the, the placket buttons down like that? Speaking of buttons, these are actually antique. I believe they are new old stock from the 1930s. So how cool is that? Now, as you make your way down, you see that it actually has two different chest pockets. One that's expandable, sort of like the Farrier shirt. You know, you can put stuff in here and it expands to accept it. The other side, you have sort of what they call a tobacco pocket. So there's a bigger pocket underneath and then a smaller pocket for your lighter or your Zippo, whatever. You know, <laughs> I don't smoke, but I could see where that would be pretty useful. And I like the way it looks. It's just a little bit different. As you go down, you can see that the placket actually ends here. And it's neat because this part isn't even attached. You know, this is all purposeful. Comes down here. This is really meant to be worn untucked. And uh, I, I just, I, at first I almost thought it was a pullover with this placket like this, but it's not. It actually does button uh, all the way and open right up. There's a chain stitch runoff on the side. Um, this has been something that I don't really care too much about. I think it's a neat little, you know, detail, but whatever. But this is just a beautiful shirt. I, I love this shirt, just especially because it's so different and there won't be many more like it. They made them, they probably won't make any more. Um, I think they also came in like a dark blue, but I, again, being a fan of brown, liked this color here. The fabric is actually pretty interesting too. It's an eight ounce flannel moleskin, so it has a little bit of a texture, it's sort of fuzzy. And it, you know, obviously there's no pattern here, but it's very, very comfortable. It feels almost a little bit like felt. Very, very comfortable. And that eight ounce fabric is sort of a mid-weight fabric. So some of the ones we're gonna be looking at are very heavy. This is a great middle of the road option. I, I love this. I mean, look at the, the shape of the, of the pocket flap. You know, there's certain, there's certain shirts that just have, they're so chock full of detail. They're so dense with, with stuff like that. And that's why people love Himmel Brothers jackets. I certainly do. And mine is one of my most prized possessions. This shirt here is very representative of why people are so dedicated to the brand. Now this is the Ironheart mini herringbone fall weight flannel. It's a little bit of a lighter uh, fabric. Really though, uh, talk about a, a, a unique pattern. I mean, you could look very closely at this and I mean, the herringbone patterns, the colors they used. There's a reason that Ironheart is really kind of known the world over as having the best flannels. Their heavyweight flannels are unbelievable. Those are brushed on the inside and they're, they're, they're not brushed on the outside. So they're just ultimately cozy, beautiful stuff. This though being the fall weight version is a little bit better for layering. I don't think you're gonna find a lot of people who are gonna argue that Ironheart basically makes the best flannels in the world. You do pay for them though. This was probably around 300 bucks brand new. I bought it secondhand. Um, the cuffs are lined in cotton drill fabric, and I believe, no, nope, I thought that the, the inside of the collar was as well, but you know, this has these beautiful black snaps, these onyx black snaps. And now here's an interesting thing. So you remember the Indigo Farah that I had, that was a small. This one here is a large. So just shows you how vastly different the sizing can be. You have to really check that fit chart before you pick the one that will fit you best. But this one here being a large, it's close enough. This has also that Western kind of cut that they do. I really like it. Uh, Ironheart, hopefully next year I'll have a, a heavyweight flannel to show you. This is the Filson Scout shirt. This costs $115 and I gotta tell you, save your money. Um, I got this because this is a lighter four ounce flannel. It is yarn dyed, so you know you see that, that detail in there and stuff. I thought it'd be a great option, especially you know, kind of those transitional months, being a lighter weight fabric and stuff. And I really did like the green and the gold. The problem is, is what I saw in the catalog was probably doctored quite a bit. I mean, the saturation was definitely pumped up because when I saw it, I was like, wow, that's really striking. You know, the gold and the green, it was a really cool look. 
When I got it, it was sort of underwhelming. And I got to say, like, even, I mean, Filson, they do some things right. I think their Mackinac wool is fantastic. I think that their luggage is very good. Their flannel shirts, though, are no better than the L.L. Bean ones I have. I would rather pay 55 bucks for an L.L. Bean than 115 for something like this. So buyer beware, you know, whatever. I've heard that some people like their Alaskan Guide shirt. For my money, though, I would rather save the money and get an L.L. Bean or something else or one of these other options I'm going to show you here. Not a bad option, you know, 100% cotton and stuff, but just nothing to speak of. Definitely not worth the price. From the company Naked and Famous, this is their vintage flannel. This is one of my favorite purchases of the year. I love this flannel shirt. Now, the thing that I like about it is not only the fact that it's, you know, a very interesting color. Again, brown. What can I say? I like that kind of thing. I love the very loose weave of the fabric that they used here. It feels like, in a way, do you remember those old, like, hoodies that we used to call them drug rugs? They were pretty terrible looking. The fabric almost kind of reminds me of that. It has a lot of texture. It's very warm. Um, metal buttons, a cool little sleeve pocket that you only really see on workwear. Um, very functional uh, chest pockets and stuff. Here's the thing that really makes this shirt for me, though, is do you see the way the placket comes out here and goes like that? There's no button up here, in other words, to really close up that collar like you'll see on a lot of shirts. That really allows you to button that top and have plenty of room for your neck. If you have a big bull neck like I do, um, a lot of times that can feel very restricting. I love this cut. I've never seen it on another shirt before. I love that they did this. Naked and Famous, again, awesome brand. I think that this one here was like 259 bucks, something like that. Expensive, well worth it though. I, I love this shirt. I, uh, I can't say enough about it. And Naked and Famous is another one of those companies where if you don't buy it when you see it, that you know you, you may just completely miss out. So awesome shirt. I wish I had gotten another one. They're they're just they're great. Now here is a bit of a uh, bonus, right? And it's definitely not a flannel shirt. As a matter of fact, it's corduroy, but very fine whale corduroy. Naked and Famous again. But look what they've done. Do you see how this this pattern is very faint? It actually is pretty robust on the inside. So this actually comes through. And I love the way this looks like it's an old shirt right out of the box. Same kind of thing, very, very comfortable. Naked and Famous, this is a bit of a bonus, you know. I just had it up on the wall, I wanted to show it to you. I, um, I'm becoming a, a really, really big fan of Naked and Famous. I love that Canadian brand. And they're, they're like the Wonka chocolate factory of fabrics. They always just do really interesting things that are kind of avant-garde and a bit off the wall. I love that adventurous spirit about them. Um, they, they've become one of my favorite brands. Now you knew that I had to include Carhartt here somewhere on the list. I'm happy to say that their heavyweight flannel is a real home run. Now what I like about this, first of all, I love the coloration. This is their Carhartt brown, so you can see that there, but they've also, this is you know kind of a color block pattern, which I, I, I think looks really nice, very striking. I love the way that they flanked it with some charcoal and some orange. Just a very nice job on this particular flannel. Now, this is their heavyweight, so it does have some nice heft to it, but it doesn't, it's not gonna break the bank. That's what Carhartt does well. They make shirts that you can, they look good, um, you can work in, and they're absolutely functional. You know, this has the pen pocket, like I mentioned before. This is meant to go to work. It's 45 bucks. Great, great shirt. Now again, you know, so this has the triple stitch seams and all that stuff really, like I said, meant for work. But just be careful with the sizing on these because this is a medium, okay? So when I got a large, I was absolutely swimming in it. It was just way too big. Carhartt stuff tends to fit pretty big. This medium fits me very well. Now, it's just interesting that I have a range from small to large to medium, all from different companies here that all sort of fit similar. This is the Carhartt heavyweight flannel. It's awesome. I think if you could find a good pattern or a color that you like, pick one up, just give it a try because they're just as good off the job as they are on the job. And if you wanna see the video that I did where I ranked every Carhartt jacket from lightest to warmest based on scientific data, well then go ahead and click over here somewhere and uh, check that out because that's a really cool video that I I'm very proud of, and it'll show you just with absolutely scientific data which one is the warmest. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.